。係。When I was jumping my car battery in January after being slammed with sub-zero temperatures, I was pretty convinced summer would never get here. But here we are, clamoring for any air-conditioned building in sight. Even though it seems like just yesterday we were all rattling on about the polar vortex, it's strange, right? As a kid, the space between winter break and glorious summer freedom seemed like a lifetime. But now, as adults, we'll blink, and suddenly it'll be time for us to start sending Christmas cards again. It's become a common complaint, a joke, really, that time seems to whiz by faster and faster as we get older. Of course. Aging doesn't grant us the power to disrupt the space-time continuum, so it's not a real problem. But why do we perceive it to be? The 19th-century psychologist William James mused over this fact in his text *Principles of Psychology*. James wrote that as we age, we find ourselves stuck in a routine. This causes, he writes, the days and weeks to smooth themselves out, and the years to grow hollow and collapse. Very depressing. <laughs> I'm working on my PhD in neuroscience, and the most fascinating aspect of human behavior to me has always been how we perceive the world around us. Perception is more than just how we sense our surroundings; it's how our past experiences and biological differences interact, creating unique interpretations for every new experience. Even though we're all sensing the same things in this moment, each of us perceives it very differently. A decade ago, German psychologist Mark Whitman decided to study how different people perceive the passage of time. He recruited 500 participants, ranging from tweens to centenarians, and presented them with all sorts of questions and rating scales. Unsurprisingly, regardless of age, he found that everyone felt that the last few weeks and months had whizzed by in a flash. However, longer intervals of time, such as decades, flew by much faster for those aged 50 and older than for younger people. Last year, researchers in U.S., Australia, and Japan decided to study exactly why certain types of people perceive these longer time intervals to be passing quickly, and they found something interesting. Those who had perceived a high level of day-to-day -day stress in the past, but not currently. Felt that the last decade had passed in a flash. So I find it fascinating that although the workday grind may feel slower than molasses in January, we'll one day look back when we're older or retired, and our perception will completely change. That time period, we'll say, slipped right through our fingertips. The results from these cross-cultural studies tell us something else interesting. We're all in the midst of an international crisis. And there's not enough time to solve it. So what's the deal? The complexity of human biology, behavior, and personal experiences make this line of research particularly tricky. But psychologists have put forth five interesting theories to explain this strange phenomenon. The first is that we gauge time by memorable events. Imagine a middle-aged working parent experiencing the stressful drudgery of work and family life. The abundant memories of high school, such as homecoming <coughs> football games, prom, graduation, and so forth, may seem like much longer than the mere four years that they were. The second is that the amount of time passed relative to one's age varies. When you're five years old, one year is 20 percent of your life. But when you're 50 years old, one year is only 2 percent of your life. We may be constantly comparing intervals of time with the duration that we've already lived. Third, with aging may come the slowing of some sort of pacemaker in ourselves. Relative to the unstoppable clocks and calendars, our bodies may be telling us that it's literally time to be slowing down. Fourth, as we age, we may be paying less attention to time. When you're a kid on December 1st, you're faithfully counting down the days until Santa brings your favorite Hot Wheels down the chimney. But when you're an adult on December 1st, you're a little more focused on work, bills, deadlines, Christmas shopping, and travel plans. The more attention we focus on tasks and routine, the less we notice the passage of time. Fifth, stress. 
The feeling that there's simply not enough time to do everything we want to do may, as we've seen, be reinterpreted into the feeling that time is passing too quickly. So what can we do about all of this? We all know the saying, time flies when you're having fun. After all, I've never sat through a particularly enlightening trigonometry lecture and thought to myself, wow, this class is going so quickly. So the key is to keep your life as dull as possible. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Actually, the complete opposite is true. Regardless of how we each experience time, we all hope for one thing in life, to wake up each morning and feel energized. So create variety in your routine. Find something that inspires you every day. Pursue the things that interest you. Make exciting plans for the future. And savor all moments, big and small. If time can be on Mick Jagger's side, <laughs> it can certainly be on yours, too. Thank you.